Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Somnia Kizi and before I start us off today, I wanna to do a little back and forth between me and you. So I'm gonna need your help and participation. Super simple. I'm gonna say the word crick and I need you guys to respond with the word crack, okay? Crick, crack, perfect. Now you may be wondering what these words mean and why I'm leading with these words. So allow me to give some context. I'm a daughter of a Haitian immigrant. My mother is Haitian and I was raised in a Haitian home. In Haitian culture, before a story is told to an audience, the storyteller would signal the beginning of the story with the word crick. Upon hearing that word, the audience responds with the word crack. This back and forth or call response is a way to indicate that something special is about to happen. A story is about to be told. In Haitian culture, stories are little treasures that tie together families and communities. Stories lift up friends, families, communities, and serve as vessels for tribal knowledge. Stories house culture and communicate a sense of purpose across generations. The art of storytelling is one of my favorite parts of being Haitian and growing up around Haitian people. Stories and storytelling has compelled me from an extremely young age. I think this is why I chose journalism as one of my core focuses. I've seen the powerful impressions that stories have on people and communities. I've experienced the connecting of people and ideas through story. Storytelling is a, a ubiquitous to the human experience. It is an art and craft that can only be described as magic. The art of sharing knowledge through the medium of genuine and sincere storytelling is the magic formula that I utilize within my everyday life. It is also the magic formula that I utilize within my chapter of PSE. This past year, I had the privilege and opportunity to be appointed as our chapter's very first diversity, equity, and inclusion chair. As the first person to hold this position, I knew that I held a unique opportunity to leave an imprint that would define the role going forward. As I contemplated the foundation that needed to be built, I needed the strength to build a lasting base. I found this strength in the most comfortable of communication vessels. I found my strength in storytelling, the magic craft that has come to define me. For my first workshop facilitation for the chapter, I asked our members to open themselves up with their fellow brothers and share their own stories. I asked them to lead their stories with the phrase, if you really knew me. I challenged our members to share their personal experiences about the misconceptions made by others about them. Implicit bias is so often an empty phrase, a concept that describes feelings felt by others, often by the other. We often miss how we have all felt the pain of being misunderstood, overlooked, and unrecognized. This was an opportunity for my entire chapter to share their genuine, authentic, and sincere selves. It was also an opportunity for the chapter to share their stories and experiences. The reaction to and the results of the activity were truly magic. I saw my brothers open doors of empathy with one another as they formed tighter and more genuine connections. I saw the sharing of selves become the understanding of others. I watched as we exposed what made our chapter different. We reveled in the celebration of each individual and their unique contribution to our chapter. We shared experience, we shared stories. And through, ch and through story, through empathy, through celebration and through understanding, we all found the parts of us that were mo more sincere, ethical, and knowledgeable, all vital pillars within my magic formula. I sought the strength and magic of stories to engage my chapter. With this, what this strength afforded me, what this, with this strength afforded to me, I found the ability to build better individuals, more inclusive teams, more profitable companies, and stronger lasting communities. We achieved this not from the stories themselves, but rather from the power of the story to open ears, hearts, and minds. Now, I encourage all of you to utilize stories within your own lives. While they may not be magic, it is a magic power that lays within us all. The key to finding the, authentic, the, the, key to finding the authentic you and with that authentic self allows storytelling to change the very world around you. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.